What is going on everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video. So today we are unboxing the brand new Canon R6 camera. So first we're gonna unbox it, I'll show you what it comes with the camera, and then I'm gonna give you my first thoughts and impressions on the new Canon R6, considering I am a wedding photographer. As always, before we begin, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on those bell notifications, and now let's get to it. Of course you get your warranty card, this massive instruction manual. Of course your wall charger and their brand new LPE6NH battery. Get your strap of course. So here is the kit lens. Okay, so just your standard 24-105, a little bit smaller. Of course not L glass, but it is an RF. Here is the main attraction. So there it is. The Canon EOS R6. So now that we had a good look at this, let's talk about why I went with this and my first impressions. So my first impressions with this is that it's exactly like the Canon R5 that I'm filming with right now. The buttons are the same layout and just mentioned like before, it doesn't have the top LCD screen. Although that's not a big problem, it doesn't really matter. But everything else, the grip, the feel, it just feels like the Canon R5. So why did I upgrade to this camera and not keep my Canon R? Well actually there's pretty good reasons as to why. The first reason is because of the dual card slots. Up till recently I just started using my R for weddings, but with it only having one card slot, I got a little bit nervous. So now that this camera has two card slots, it makes me feel a lot better during weddings. I think the biggest thing is that everything that's packed in the R5 is also packed in the R6. So all of the incredible autofocus features in the R5 are also included in the R6. Along with the incredible autofocus, you also have IBIS, which just like the R5, this also has eight stops of stabilization in body. So coming from the original R, this was a no-brainer. Now let's talk about the biggest problem and that is 20 megapixels. Or is that a problem? Although I am a person that loves megapixels, 20 megapixels is just fine, especially for weddings. You have to keep in mind that I shoot anywhere from 2,000 to 6,000 photos a wedding. If I had two Canon R5s, which are 45 megapixels, that is a lot of storage and a lot of data. So pairing the R6 with the R5 for wedding photography was a great choice because you're getting all the same features, but you're just getting smaller file types. So coming from the original R to the R6 with 30 megapixels compared to 20, I think it's gonna take a little bit, but I'm sure I'll be just fine. Just keep in mind that when I first started photography, I started with the Canon T3. Now I don't remember the exact megapixels, but I'm pretty sure it was around probably 14 to 17 megapixels. And with that, I was still able to print 24 by 36 prints perfectly. So just because this thing is 20 megapixels, don't let that scare you away because it's still an incredible camera and I am so excited to use this for weddings. If you stuck around and made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in my next video.